Some tips about the topology pen tool with combination with the control key and the control shift keys. So I am in my regular modeling layout and when I go to the polygon tab, I have my topology pen. When I activate it, it works with snapping on but without a background constraint because I am not activating the topology pen in the topology layout. I am in the modeling layout. Now when I hold the control key, and first maybe draw your attention to the mode, so I am in my move mode, when I click here, it's the move mode. Now when I hold my control key and hover over that third for instance and click up and down, now I'm constraining the movement up and down. So you see my mouse cursor, and it can go to the left and to the right, but since my initial movement was up, my movement is constrained to up and down. The same to left and right, so if I hold the control key and click to the right, now can, I can go up with my mouse, you see the cursor, but movement is constrained to the left and to the right. And of course, when I right click, I have my radius, so that plays also an important role. So again, I'm holding the control key, and you see I can go to the left, but the movement is only constrained up and down. Now, with holding the control and the shift key, you can do smoothing while you're in move mode. So again, the mode is move. Now, when I hold the control and shift key, and I'm going to adjust my radius a bit, so hover over component, control, shift, now left mouse button, click and drag, and then you do smoothing. And as you can see, if I go to the sides here, my boundaries aren't locked. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo a few times. Now in the move mode, holding Ctrl Shift does a smoothing, but you see that lock boundary and lock corner are grayed out. This means that if you want to have them available, you have to set the mode to smoothing. Now lock boundary and lock corner are not grayed out anymore, so if I lock boundary and lock corner, now when I Simply left mouse button, click and drag over here, you see that the boundaries are maintained. So Control Z to undo. So in my move mode, these are grayed out. So I cannot lock my boundaries in move mode. So when I hold the Control and Shift key, I can do smoothing, but my boundaries aren't locked. And another note, when I set my radius all the way to zero, then I'm going to smooth the entire mesh. So control shift in move mode, left mouse button click, smooths out the entire mesh. Control Z to undo. And even in smoothing mode, when I can say lock boundary and lock corner, if my radius fall off is zero, with, even with lock boundary and lock corner, I'm going to smooth out the entire mesh. That is since my fall off is completely zero. So control Z to undo. If I have a bit of radius fall off, like that, now control shift, left mouse button click, now my boundaries are maintained. And the tips also work of course with the topology pen tool with a background constraint. So now I am in the topology layout, I have activated topology pen tool, so if I hold the control key, so now I am going to constrain into my initial direction, but since I am also working with a constraint to background, it works a bit differently than in the modeling layout. Now in the manual says that when you hold the control key that you do a slide, but actually this is just constraining to a direction, just like I've shown before, depending on your initial mouse movement, but with the background constraint you are also not only constraining into the initial direction, but also to the topology. And that's why it seems like you are doing a slide, but it's not a regular slide. So if you want these vertices to slide, you have to drop the tool, select a component, and then press the S key to activate the slide tool. And now you are sliding. Of course, I am not working with a mesh constraint right now, so if I set it to background, then I'm also with the slide tool, I'm sliding but constraining to background.
and with select true you can select of course multiple components just like that I'm going to drop the slide tool and activate the topology pen tool again so again when you're holding the control key and then depending on your fall off hold control your initial movement is up you're going to constrain your movement up now you don't see my cursor that's a bit annoying but I'm going to the left and to the right but you see that my geometry is going up and down and when I do that again and try to do it to the left and to the right sometimes you have to do it a few times this, yep now I'm going up and down to the left and to the right but with the background constraint this is a bit difficult now the smoothing with control shift also works here so my fall off hold control and the shift key now left mouse button click and drag and you see you are smoothing while in move mode control Z to undo again when your radius is zero control shift and click and drag you're going to smooth out the entire mesh control Z to undo and even with the mode set to smoothing and lock boundary and lock corner on when your radius is zero just like before you're smoothing the entire mesh control Z so if you're in smoothing mode when lock boundary and lock corner is available right click and drag to adjust your fall off a bit more maybe and now control shift oh and I go back to my oh no, no sorry in the smoothing mode I can lock boundary and lock corner so if I have a really big fall off and go to the boundary over here and simply lift mouse button click and drag my boundaries and my corners they are locked but as I said before when my radius is zero even in smoothing mode and lock boundary and lock corner on I'm going to smooth out the entire mesh hope you found it useful